joining us. Color 10 investigates just days before the new school year. Springfield Public Schools moving a middle school bus stop that was originally next to a sex offender's home. Parents alerted the district that it was too close for comfort. Investigative reporter Lauren Barnes is working to find out if this is an isolated mistake or part of a bigger safety issue for students. She's live at the administration building after speaking with distraught parents. Lauren. Bailey and Steve, emails from the school district show that Amy Devance's Pershing student was originally supposed to get on and off the bus at the same corner where a registered sex offender lives. Now, Springfield Public Schools accommodated the parents' concerns and moved that bus route to the other side of the road, telling me there are sex offenders living and working all across Springfield, making it difficult to route buses around them. Under the district's original bus stop, her student also would have needed to walk by another sex offender's home, too. Documents show one one of those offenders was convicted of a sex crime against an elementary school student and the other against a high schooler. Well, my primary concern is all of their offenses involved minors and he's an 11 year old and would be at times walking to and from the bus stop without any supervision. And in just a few moments, I'll be speaking with Springfield Public Schools, a spokesperson, to find out how exactly this happened and if it's possible that other elementary, middle, or high school bus riders could be routed to walk past other sex offenders' homes as the current routes stand. For Color 10 Investigates, live in Springfield, I'm Lauren Barnes.